Our next speaker is Dr. Tender, Neuropathic Pain Mechanisms in the Dorsal Root Ganglia. First of all, I would like to thank you for allowing us to present our work. Next slide, please. Next. Oh, sorry. So uh, there's an uh, increased interest in uh, Brazilian ferrotoxin. Uh, is a substance that can selectively ablate uh, the chronic pain neurons. Uh, and uh, we use this uh, to study uh, the changes uh, in the dorsal root uh, ganglia cells after um, Brazilian ferrotoxin. And particularly, we focused on uh, nerve growth factor and uh, its cognate receptor, uh, tyrosine kinase A, and the common receptor for the neurotrophins, which is uh, protein 75. Um, so just to refresh everybody on uh, the mechanism of action for RTX, uh, if uh, this is the um, type of neurons, uh, myelinated, thick myelinated, um, and then type 1 and type 2 A delta and C fiber neurons, you can see that the VR1 positive neurons are selectively ablated by RTX. And down here, you see dorsal root ganglia um, specimens. This is normal. This is just 400 nanograms of RTX injection, 800 and 1,200. And um, uh, the red uh, neurons are the myelinated uh, uh, neurons with uh, N52 staining. And the green uh, neurons are the VR1 positive neurons. And you can see the uh, dose-dependent ablation of the VR1 positive neurons. So what we did, uh, we created um, the following experimental design. Uh, we uh, took 53 rats and uh, we tested them for uh, tactile allodynia and um, with the uh, fry filaments and uh, with, uh, for thermal hyperalgesia with a hot plate. And then we created a um, gazillious uh, model of uh, nerve injury uh, where we radiate a nerve and uh, most uh, rats develop neuropathic pain. Um, and then we took as you see, the um, allodynic rats, and we treated them with different doses of RTX. We did final testing at 14 days, and then we sacrificed them and um, analyzed them by immunohistochemistry and uh, mRNA analysis. So the behavior results uh, have been uh, previously published. Uh, you can see that um, after the nerve injury, the uh, rats are um, intensely, uh, have intense uh, thermal hyperalgesia. After RTX injection, um, the rats become hypoalgesic to thermal stimulation. Uh, similar results you can uh, uh, observe in uh, tactile allodynia. Before RTX, uh, the phone fry filaments that uh, create pore withdrawal are uh, below 5 grams. The threshold is 8 grams for uh, uh, tactile allodynia. And you can see after RTX, uh, it goes up to 25. More interestingly, uh, we noticed uh, that um, uh, when we examine the dorsal root ganglia, we have here the normal DRG. Um, B is uh, the allodynic uh, DRG. C is uh, the rats that were treated with the uh, nerve injury but did not become allodynic. And D is rats that became allodynic and then were treated with RTX and allodynia was abolished. So uh, what you see is that uh, when we stain these DRGs for NGF, uh, what is really significant is the fact that in the allodynic animals, this is a neuronal counting on the right, um, the NGF is concentrated mostly in the small neurons. We did the same um, staining for um, TURK A uh, and uh, P75. Uh, obviously, TURK A is in red and P75 is in green. And what you can see is this is normal. Um, in allodynic animals, both TURK A and P75 are intensely concentrated on the small cells. You can also see it here. Then, interestingly, the non-allodynic animals, as well as the allodynic ones after RTX treatment, exhibit similar patterns in the sense that TURK A is almost absent in both of them, and P75 is expressed mostly in the medium and large neurons. This was also interestingly uh, confirmed with the uh, mRNA analysis. And um, you can see um, these are normal, the first column, and then allodynic, non-allodynic, and then after RTX at two hours, two days, and seven days. And if you look, NGF initially decreases after RTX injection and then increases again. Remember, this increase is in the large cells. 
Turkey decreases art, increases in the allodynic animals, but then decreases after RTX and pretty much disappears at uh, seven days. P75 remains well expressed throughout. So our conclusion is that uh, based on uh, these um, uh, phenotypic changes, uh, in neuropathic pain, NGF acts on TERK A in the small neurons to, to promote this uh, uh, pain, whereas non-neuropathic animals, as well as the neuropathic animals that were treated with RTX, um, NGF still increases, but its effect is on uh, P75, and this is mostly in the large neurons. And we believe this is going to be important in the uh, neuronal uh, remodelation of uh, the DRG after RTX injection. Thank you. Questions?